Hi, my name is Thomas Foster and this is the second episode of Ableton 10.1 for Beginners. In this episode I'll show you how to make a simple composition in the piano roll for dance track and transfer it to a piano, a bass and a synthesizer. Maybe you still have the beat from the last episode, then you can build on that. If not, that's not a problem. You also can start with an empty Ableton file. Press Shift Command T to create an empty MIDI track. On PC, use the keyboard command Shift Control T. Now we will load a piano sound. Open the browser if it's not already open with this arrow here. In the category, select Sounds and then open Piano and Keys in the name field. The sound we are looking for is called Grand Piano ADG. To find it faster, you can type the word Grand. When the new MIDI track is active, you can double click on the piano sound. Otherwise, just put the sound on the new MIDI track. On the new track, make a selection over two bars, exactly from bar 9 to bar 11. You may need to zoom in or out a bit to see bar 5 through 7. Uh, use the plus and minus keys on your keyboard to do this. All right, from 9 to 11. Now press Command Shift M or Control Shift M on a PC to create an empty MIDI file over the selected area. Of course, we could make the selection at the beginning of our beat, but the cymbal sound uh, destroys us when composing. So bar 9 to bar 11 is the better position to work on. Of course, I cannot teach you all the music theory and harmony in a short video, but I will show you a few simple tricks or rules that will enable you to compose in the piano roll. So the first thing we do is to set the grid to 16th. I always recommend to compose in C major or A minor, as you do not need any sign in these two pitches, which means you can always stay on the white keys. We want to compose a track in minor, so let's start with the note A. To find a note in the piano roll, simply move the mouse over the keyboard, like this. We are searching for the A, so here we make a double click on that line in the first box. Now we want to create a chord. To build a chord, we need a third and a fifth above the root. So how do we do this? Let's make the window a little bit bigger. Let's scroll down a little bit. And now we go two white keys up. This would be here the first white key. The second one is here. So double click, we double click here. And again the same, one white key we don't touch and here we double click again. So now we build our first chord. Let's listen. Wonderful. Chord changes can take place in different places. Most frequently chord changes take place in full bar or half bar. Let's do the first chord for a whole bar. To change it, we select the first chord by making a square and now we take one of the note at the right corner where we get this bracket and now we make it exactly one bar long. So on the second bar we want to build a new chord. Basically every other key is different. So this would be again the A, we already have this, we want a new chord now. The only one that sounds not so cool because it's a little bit too special, too jazzy I would say, is the B. But any other key is cool, so the, the C, the D, the E, the F. Let, let's take the C, all right, and we want to do a chord again, so we do not click the next white key, but the one after. Not this one here, but the one after. One, three, and five. And because we want to make this second chord a half bar long, so we take it again and bring it to 2.3. And here we create a new chord, so uh, the D would be fine, uh, but also the E, the F, uh, the G. Why don't we go to E to make a chord again, not the next white key, but this one, not the next white key, but this one, and again we make it a half bar long. 
Now let's listen to this. First of all, maybe the piano is a little bit too high. So we select everything again like this. And now press the shift key. And with the arrow keys, while you hold down the shift key, uh, press the, shift, the arrow key down. Uh, to bring it one octave lower. Again, with shift arrow up, you make it high. With shift arrow down, you make it low. Wonderful. Before we start to edit the piano, let's create a bass. So we bring down this window a little bit to see more of our main window. We create a new MIDI track. Remember, shift command T or control T on the PC uh, and now we go to sounds and bass. Um, we have to erase the name Grant here to be able to listen to every bass sound and to hear the bass uh, remember to click this headphone here. Now let's see which one we like. I have this amped Fritz here, that's the one I will choose. If you don't have this, uh, the same one, uh, try to find another one that you like. We close this uh, instrument here and now we copy our piano chords to the bass. Let's double click this one here. Uh, we want just to hear the bass. So we use the solo feature. Here's this S. If you click it, it has a blue color. And now you can be sure just to hear the bass and not the other tracks. Okay. Um, the next thing we do is we erase the number two and three of every chord. Number two and three and number two and three. And now we are able to listen to the bass. Does it sound like a bass? No, it's much too high. So I press Command A to select everything and Shift arrow down to make it one oct octave lower. Better, let's go down another octave. Maybe one more. Oh, that's too low. The last one is maybe okay, so I just select the first two and go up again one octave. That's a nice bass. And now we go back to the piano. And uh, let's click on S again to hear everything. The thing that I don't like is this jump up here. A piano player always tries to nice a nice melody and makes just small changes. So to bring these two chords closer to the first one, we do something very interesting. We make a selection of all the notes that are higher than the first chord. And now we press again, shift arrow down. And now we change the chord. It's still C major and it's still a minor, but on a different place. Let's listen to this. Okay. To be able to work on it, I want to hear a loop. So the next thing I do is I place these two clips on the beginning and now I copy it all over the place. Okay, let's double click again the piano because now we want to work on the piano. To make it more interesting, we make it short again. Now we select the first chord that is now 2 16th, means 1 8th. All right. We select the whole chord and use Command D to duplicate it. With the arrow keys, we can move the whole chord. Let's move it one side to the right. And now we do the same again. Command D or on PC for sure, Control D and one to the right. Let's listen to this. Let's do this again. 
duplicate it and move it one to the right. One more time. And one more time. To make it shorter, we take the mouse and do it like this. Wonderful. And now we want to repeat exactly the same thing with the next chord. So I select the whole chord, I make it short like 2 16th, I copy it, move it one to the right, I sorry, I duplicate it with Command D and one to the right. And again with this chord, one to the right, one to the right. Okay, let's listen to this. <laughs> I don't like this one here. So let's erase it and maybe we try to move this one over here. Wonderful. Um, maybe we need another copy of this chord here. So with the Option key or with the Alt key, I copy it to this position. Much better. Okay, let's take a look to the level of the piano. Uh, maybe we bring the whole level down to infinity. And while we're listening to the track, we bring up the volume. Let's do this. Just the bass and the drums. It's coming. Let's go. All right. Okay, now we want to be sure that we don't have distortion problems in our master. So what we do is we double click the master track. Now we see here the master track. We open the browser, we go to audio effects and we try to find the limiter. And now we place the limiter on our master track, just right over here. And you can make the track louder until you start to see the yellow line here. Then you should stop. All right. Just a little bit of the yellow is okay, but now it's fine. You know what I totally don't like? That's the bass. I don't like the sound. I don't like the way it's played. So let's change this. Um, uh, let's go to sounds. Uh, we open bass and we listen to some new bass sounds. Oh, bass housey. That's nice. Uh, hopefully you have it. Otherwise, find another one that sounds close. And let's drop it on our bass track and let's listen again. Much better, but still I think the rhythmic of the bass could be different. So let's make it short, like an eighth means two sixteenths. And now we duplicate it with Command or Control D. And we duplicate it again. Maybe the next one we make a little later. That's good. We duplicate it two times again. Um, yeah, and we repeat this thing again. And maybe we bring this one sixteenth to the right. I like that. And we could bring this note one note down. Sounds interesting. Uh, why don't we repeat this? So again, two sixteenth, two. Uh, we duplicate it, we duplicate it again, move it one to the right, and here the E, we also make short. Uh, let's make the window bigger so we see a little bit more. And uh, this one here, and this one here. I move this to the G as the G goes up to the A again. Much 
much better. Maybe it's still a little bit, little bit too loud. Let's listen to the level. Here with the blue number, you can change the level. That feels much better. So the last thing we're gonna do is to add a synthesizer. You will like this one, trust me. Let's duplicate the piano and let's call it synth because here we make a synthesizer. Let's go to solo just to hear the new piano and we double click uh, this clip to open it in the piano roll. Let's erase every... We repeating of the chord. So all the repeatings of the A, all the repeatings of the second and the third chord. And now we use the function legato to make every note until the next note. Now we double click it to see the track. Here still is our piano sound. And now we open the browser and go to MIDI effects. We use now the Arpeggiato. Let's place the arpeggiato in front of the piano. So what is the arpeggiato doing? While the chord goes in, he's playing the separate notes of the chord. And how fast he's doing this, you can change here with the rate. So 16th sounds like this, or 32th like this. Let's go to 16th, that's cool. Um, let's go from zero steps to one step to add another octave. And we go up and down here in the style. Up, down. Sounds all nice, but let's find another sound. So we go to sound. Here we go to synth keys and Let's listen a little bit to the sounds. Maybe something more with an accent in the beginning. I like that one. Let's take this one instead of the grand piano. Let's listen to this. That's nice. Let's bring it into the mix and take care of the level. My name is Thomas Foster, I'm a music producer in Salzburg, that's in Austria, not in Australia, and no, we do not have kangaroos. If you want to see what I'm doing for a living, you can visit our homepage fosterkent.com and you will see that we make jingles for radio and television stations all over the world. If you want to make a remix in Ableton Live, you can download an a cappella from my download page. In the background, you can already hear the song Traveling of my band iVotion. If you want to have access to this a cappella, please subscribe to my newsletter. The link can be found in the description of this video. Otherwise, I say thank you for being there. Always stay creative. Cheers!